G'day fellas and people from the interwebs, I'm your host for this tutorial, uh, DJ Ignite, I'm not really a DJ but neither are you. Let's start the timer. It's been a while since I've done uh, another tutorial, so this is uh, episode or series 6 of the FLST series. <clears throat> In this episode we're going to try and cover as much of this as possible within the 15 minute time frame. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to expand our VST collection. Now, when people buy FL Studio, it comes with a few um, VST plugins, instruments and effects, and generators and such. But um, it's always good to expand your collection, as I have. And um, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to do it, or how where to get them from, or where you can get some of them from, and how to install them. Now... So yeah, first of all, we're going to start off by installing the uh, VST. We're going to obtain an effect and a generation VST. Um, but first, I'm going to quickly show you where you can purchase um, VST plugins for FL Studio from the company that makes FL Studio, which is ImageLine right here. So let's get that little thing out of the way. And we're going to minimize this. Alright, so I'm going to go into my browser and ImageLine is currently loading up. So this is the company that actually makes FL Studio. Oh, my time is fucked off. There we go. 13 minutes. And right on the front page, there's a whole bunch of their plugins that they've got for sale. And as you can see, they've got a rather large collection. If I look for it, there we go. Citrus, right there. So for those of you who are actually looking... Uh, who have been asking me where you get citrus from there it is you get it from this website it's 179 dollars this is australian i believe uh yeah and then you just go to a shop i believe and uh you buy your vsts they will download as either a folder containing a v uh the plugin dot dll and a uh readme file which explains how to install it or i don't know each, each plugin is different usually, but that's pretty much how you do that. I'm not going to buy one because I'm not going to buy one. It's as simple as that. Um, but instead, I'm going to show you how to find one for free and also show you where I got the free piano plugin called CV Piano. So, pretty much, Google free VST, VST for free.com. Holy shit. Is it seriously that easy? Well, yes, it is. It really, really is. So this is actually quite a good website. I've gotten quite a few plugins from here. Um, straight to piano slash strings. And if we, there we go, CV piano. That's the one that I've got. That's all my piano sounds that you hear in my later songs. I use this. Um, I'm not going to install the VST again for the simple fact that I've already got it. I'm going to get a new one that um, I don't have and hopefully I can explain simply and easily how to install it. So I don't want a piano because I've, I'm quite happy with what I have. Um, keep in mind you've got drums, instruments and synths. Synths are usually um, obviously synthesizers but um, they're your effects. So they don't actually create the noise, they alter it. So, and also I, I generally get things that have got a higher star rating for obvious reasons. There we go, a pad, a pad synth which has 5 out of 5 stars. That, I've never actually seen an instrument with 5 out of 5, so let's get that. Oh, it's only been voted 3 times. But it looks like a pretty complex system and 3 oscillators, blah blah blah, etc. Yeah, cool. Alright, well, let's download this. It's only 1.4 megs. Obviously, we don't click on that because that's... Hang on, where is it taking me now? Clearly, I haven't downloaded anything from this site for a while. Whoops. Um, there we go. I thought you just clicked on that. There we go. Cool. So, it's downloading as a zip file. I'm going to click on that so it opens the moment it finishes downloading. And... There we go. Thank you. 
So this is within the zip folder and there you go. That's the plugin right there. It's just a .dll. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it in the folder where all the VST plugins are stored. And this is what you will need to do every time you want to expand on your VST library. Keeping in mind, you, some of the higher end plugins, usually the ones that you buy from say Native Instruments or you know maybe Eddie Roll or something like that, they come with their own installer. So when you download it, you just open up the installer and it will install and place everything where it should be automatically. And it will also come with an uninstaller. But for simple things like this, you just got to do it manually and it's very, very simple. So here's the thing that I've downloaded. It's a .dll. Obviously, you don't double click on that because it's not an executable, which is what, which is what exe stands for. I'm running a 64-bit um, OS, by the way. So I've got this program files, which is for 60-bit, 64-bit programs and an x86, which actually means 32-bit programs. So we open up the 32-bit one, scroll down, and there we go, VST plugins. And as we can see, we've got a few folders and a whole bunch of different plugins that I've already got. And to install this plugin that we've just downloaded, we simply just drag it over and copy to VST plugins. Continue. And we are hopefully done. I don't know why it's taking this long. It should be done already. Do, do, do. All right, so that's copied over now. So I'm just going to close these two. We now know that it's copied into the VST folder in the 32-bit program files folder, which is located on our boot drive or C drive in my case. Now what we're going to do is we're going to find it in FL Studio and use it. Now, if I'd right click and go insert, it's obviously not going to rock up here. So what we do is we click on more. Now, I don't know if this is an actual instrument or if it's just an effects generator or, or a generator. So I'm going to put it in as an instrument and see if it works. I don't have my controller plugged in. I should probably do that. I'll quickly add that in right now. By the way, for those of you who keep asking me how I'm making notes without touching anything, it's because I have a controller. I've said this. Cool. I've said this fucking shit loads of times. All right, getting back to the tutorial. We want to go insert when we want to go more. Obviously, it's not going to show up in this list of plugins because it hasn't been found. This is a library directory um, within FL Studio, which looks at the VST folder, the VST plugin folder in the C drive or program files. Um, what it actually needs to do is it needs to search for anything that's changed and then it will rock up in this library. So we click on refresh and then fast scan. And it will say one new plugin found, which is this one. And that's what we just downloaded, APAD. So we just click on that. That's a little checkbox. For some reason, it's an F. I'm guessing because it's FL Studio. I don't know. But that's now added. We close that. Go back into insert and APAD right there. And that's our plugin that we just installed. And it does create sound. That's actually not too bad. I'm going to keep that. So there we go. We just found a plugin online and we installed it or we downloaded it and installed it. And there we go. Let's try and do the same. Actually, I'm going to get that timer back. My phone, I got a new phone the other day and it locks itself automatically. All right, five and a half minutes left. What else are we going to do in this fucking thing? Um, yeah, I pretty much just did all this, didn't I? Maximizing VST. Recording, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, pretty much. Um, some of them you can right click on and do the whole, you know, assign to controller or create a automation clip. For this one, you can't. Obviously, it's a cut down version. Someone or a few small people have come together and have created this, obviously, because it's free. But uh, yeah, you get the idea. A lot of this free stuff is actually pretty pretty damn handy as you can see with my cv piano which is the plugin that i showed you that i got from that website 
where I got this one. And this is my most favorite plugin of all because the piano that comes with FL Studio, FL Keys, right here, sounds like shit. Absolute pus. So this is this is piano, this is FL Keys. And this is CV Piano. It sounds much better. Obviously, that's the default settings, and I actually need to load my preset settings, which make it sound even better. But of course, we're getting um, underruns because it's using too much. There we go. So I actually need to set my buffer length up a little bit, a bit more. No, it's not going to do it without ASIO on, unfortunately for you guys. But that's pretty much it. So that is how I have... Uh, obtained new plugins, either effects or generators. Let me keep, uh, let me remind you that when you add things into this list, these are your instruments. There's a big difference between your instruments, generators, and effects. This is a list of different effects. As you can see, there's no citrus, no nothing else, because this is where the effects reside. And in here, this is where the instruments and generators reside. So keep in, keep that in mind because if I go in here, whoops, I really didn't mean to do that. If I go in here and go more, I can actually add in that exact same, whoa, microphone's falling over. I can add in that exact same instrument into the effects and load it into the effects, but it won't do anything because it's an instrument. It needs an import to actually play. So when you're downloading an, a new effect, like say a lo-fi, like this one by Ephonics. I also got this from that same website, by the way. Pretty good, not too bad. Um, you want to add it in this list from the mixer, from the mixer list thing, instead of in the instruments, because it's going to be completely pointless if you load in here and try and load it in the sequencer, because it's not going to do anything at all. So, yeah. And if you add it in this list, it's not going to add it in this list here automatically. It just won't do that. So keep that in mind, effects, uh, fucking instruments and generators go here, and effects only go here. And I'm just going to leave you with a few different, or show you a few different effects that I've got, most of which I've gotten from the same website, but I am, personally, I would, I was going to create a zip folder and put it online for you to download everything that I've or all the uh, free plugins and that that I've obtained. Um, but I looked through all the licenses and shit, and for most of them I can't actually give away. So that is a pain in the ass. So I'm sorry, guys, but yeah, I can't actually give... I can't distribute these. It's illegal. And I can get fucked over pretty badly if I happen to, uh, you know, get caught giving shit away. Uh, what else have I got? Acoustic guitars. Now, this is a beautiful sounding guitar. Of course, it sounds like shit because I don't have ASIO on. That just made a complete liar out of me, didn't it? <laughs> uh, where else? What else have I got? I don't actually have too many different... Oh, string theory. This was supposed to be supposedly really good, but I don't know about it. I haven't found anything that sounds super duper for me. But I'm probably just stuck in my own ways because I've been using Citrus ever since I've been playing around with this program, which is about four, almost five years. So, yeah. Anyways, that is the end of this tutorial, which is tutorial... 6.1 there won't be a 6.2 or a 6.3 because i explained everything in the one episode um next time i really i don't have anything else to talk about i've set up this whole tutorial series and the sixth one is this one it's the last one so yeah that's it um i'll try and think of other things to you know teach you guys and there we go there's the fucking there's a timer for the the timer duh. the alarm for the timer i should probably say 
And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this handy, uh, let me know. You know, just like it or comment. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe like all the other YouTubers because I find that rather pathetic, to be honest. So I more or less assume that if you're going to subscribe, you're going to do that anyways. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. Hopefully I will be coming out with another tutorial soon. Farewell for now and take it easy.